I borrowed a camera from my daughter, which is the size of a credit card, and decided to use it during my vacation instead of my main heavy massive camera that I just didn't want to carry around everywhere. And even considering the price, this little guy cost me just $120 compared to this one that I'm shooting on right now, which was $2,200, and that's without the lens. The result surprised me because this little camera has just a few manual settings, all others are auto presets. But I'm not gonna advertise in this video the camera or the quality of auto presets. The main reason why I used only this camera is because I wanted to enjoy my vacation as much as I could and take photos only occasionally without worrying that I could destroy the camera or somebody would steal it. I wanted to be able to put it in the pocket and forget about a sticky strap with a heavy camera on it. I hate this feeling, you know, when I have this sharp strap on your burnt neck on a hot day. Ugh, I hate this feeling. If you can relate to the saying, put in the comments the word yuck. Let's confuse people. And since you're about to scroll to the comment section, hit the like button to please the YouTube gods. That'll be highly appreciated. Thank you. So before my trip to Greece, I started to analyze in my head, have I ever used my vacation photos for any crazy project? Did I use raw files with crazy resolutions for anything that would require such quality? Nope. And I don't really like to shoot heavy, useless videos of random things while traveling with my family, so the decision was to use this cheap Sony camera that my daughter just got for her birthday and that is capable of capturing only JPEG files. But guilty. I also took my massive Sony camera with me, just as a matter of experiment to see whether I would take a single shot during our almost two weeks trip. And I didn't. The experiment went successfully. I put it in the corner of the closet in the hotel room and picked it the next time right before checkout. And it cost me only a few extra kilograms to carry in my hand luggage. I don't regret it at all. I realized that freedom of movement, minimalism and experiences themselves are much more important than wasting half an hour on a perfect shot of a sunset. I prefer to have my hands free to be able to hold the hand of my wife or the hand of my daughter. I prefer to have my daughter on my neck instead of that strap with a heavy camera. Vacation is a time to relax and sometimes we, especially corner creators, forget about that and behave during the time the same as we would do while working on some project. To reset your mind or before important life-changing events, like I have right now, there are two major things happening that I'll be sharing with you probably shortly, it's important to change your behavior, change your environment, routine and just go with the flow. It really helps to recharge your batteries and make your brain fresh. Every year after vacation I make similar videos to this one, talking about cameras on vacation, about importance of seeking pleasure in that moment of being with my family and not focusing so much on photos and videos or registering everything in details uh, that I experience with them. And probably subconsciously I do that for a reason. I just want to remember about that and constantly remind my future self to not ruin these important moments of my life with beloved ones. I do that by creating these types of videos every year. And probably everything I've just said is applicable not only to content creators. Everyone with a smartphone today is trying to take a perfect photo and then post it on Instagram expecting others to be jealous. If that's your real intention, that's fine, just go for it. But I believe most people on Earth are smart enough to understand that nobody really cares about your vacation photos. And if you really want to enjoy your time off and get rest, don't bother much about photos of the sunset or your face in front of the palm tree. Enjoy the moment. Carpe diem. So yeah, size matters. The less space you have for the camera, the more space you have for the hand of your friend partner or a kid. The less time you spend for staring into the camera display, the more time you'll have for true experiences like hugs, kisses or even a simple eye contact. Remember about that because it's up to you what you and your beloved ones will have in your memories. All right, that was a short positivity injection. Hopefully it resonated with you and now you'll enjoy your vacation even more without these sick obsessions with taking awesome photos or taking away your comfort of being free and independent from likes and shares on social media, but to be truly happy. Love you guys and see you in the next one. Cheers.